Welcome back everybody. We're off to another exciting Cars and Coffee here in Pensacola. We're headed off to meet the crew where we take the crews on over to the Cars and Coffee and um, if you'd like to find out more about our event or how to join us, hit up um, maryrbw.com, look at the events page and you'll find it up on our events. It is part of our club stuff and if you don't find it there, you can also Facebook VW. Uh, what is it? Uh, Pensacola VW Happenings. And you'll also find the other events that, that are not necessarily from the club, but our club does participate heavily in. So we're always welcome to join us. Anyways, I'm going to be showing up fashionably late as always. I never like showing up too early because the sun is just too intense. And I don't like standing around in the sun for, you know, half an hour or an hour or something before we kind of leave. So, <laughs> Anyway, we're getting over there at just about the same time as everybody should be pulling out. So, as always, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to block the dingo belly so you get updates every time I upload a video. Check out DuckShit.net for all my different social media links. Thanks so much, and we'll be back right after that intro. Oh man, it's going to be a hot one today. It's a... Uh, 85 probably already at 8 o'clock here in the morning and um, I'm already my balls are sticking to the vinyl seat <laughs> all right heading off over to the Publix parking lot which is typically where everybody is and I think I see that uh, red Porsche 356 up there that never shows up no is it well no no what the hell is that I thought it was a Porsche That damn gear that always breaks down. Oh, that damn gear. <laughs> what is up, Mr. Wild Bill, sir? Nothing, nothing very much. No, <laughs> nothing very much. <laughs> nothing very much. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that rear end on there, it looked like a Porsche 356, that typical bathtub look, but uh, no, you see it up close. It's obviously a Beetle with a Hebmuller kit on it, or a Hebmuller like kit on it. Good looking little car. Look at that. Check that out. Some people just love those hoods. Fantastic. Here we go. We got Rusty the bus over here. Wild Bill's wonderful parking job. That's it. It's going straight up on asshole parking on Facebook. Please do it. <laughs> Get you a little publicity. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Line up here. And down on that end, we got our Vanagoons. Oh, I gotta show you guys what Declid Don did this week. Oh, Declid. How's it going, Declid Don? I'm showing our uh, viewers here what you did to your Vanagoon oh, yeah, this week. A little racing stripe. You wanna give us a tour? Sure. Alright, show me what you got. I will tell you this. Don't ever go to a Murphy gas station, you know, one of them Walmart gas stations, because uh -huh. you got 50 people in line trying to use six pumps. I'll never go to another one of those again. So he's blaming the gas station for it's what happened here. It's the gas fault. station's fault. Sue their ass. You should sue the gas station because... Because, I, you know, I was trying to get out of there in a hurry because there was people in line, uh, and I just oh, cut it too way sharp. down. Cut it too sharp, and... Oh, done. You know. You totaled her out. Yeah, I might as well jump it now. You know, like everything else, just have her crushed. That's it. <laughs> That's have it. her crushed, yeah. man. It's, it's, it's going to the scrap That's pile. That's it. That's it. <laughs> what a shame. It's all. <laughs> yeah, I know. Shame on you. I know. Should but, know better than that. And there was that. Bondo there, so somebody had done it before. You think there's, so? Yeah. There's, or is there's, it just covering rust? Yeah, there's Bondo there. So. Maybe it's just covering the rust. And I got another that's Vanagon it. at home. It's, it's got the same crunch in the same spot, so I'm not the first idiot to do this. <laughs> yeah. It's a very common... It's a very common thing with a van. I guess. How fast were you going? I mean, oh, I you didn't just, stop yeah, right I away. I was just leaving the gas pump. So I was going, what, one mile an hour? But I mean, it, it, it skeeched along the side of the car there for quite a bit. 
Hey, I, as soon as I heard it, hey, there you go. as soon as I heard it, I stopped and backed up, straightened up and pulled out. And I thought I had hit my hubcap. You, know? <laughs> you wished? And, and I, I, yeah, I wished. I swear, I really thought I thought, oh, I, I, done. I, thought, oh I just messed up my hubcap. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> That's it. I throw the whole bus away now. No. The whole van again going out. No, no, no. Bye, van again. <laughs> uh, Jason over here shows up in his noisy truck. He doesn't understand it's supposed to be a Volkswagen cruise. <laughs> this here is the real reason what happened to the van again. He was doing all kinds of donuts and he ran into somebody else's car. That's what it was. I've been saying for two years. See, he's huh? been saying it. I've been saying that for he knows. two years. Hey, Glenn. How's it going? Morning. Because yeah. I have talked to him and talked to him. I've said, I'll help you. <laughs> All right, we're rounding up again. That means I'm going to get my glorious head start. That way I can record everybody rocketing past, as always. There you go. Good old Ruby. Some a hole showed up at the cars and coffee with a trailer. <laughs> Actually, I could probably get in through here and get some video this way. Bug shit crazy. There is a ton of people here early today. And it's like gridlock here in the parking lot because nobody's parking fast enough. Everybody's just dicking around. 
<laughs> One of my biggest peeves. People that dick around. Nice Jason there. Yeah, he's got to cut the whole line. Drive around. Go wherever the hell he wants. <laughs> Oh, we got a little breeze over here. Good, because the air has just been stagnant, humid, and it just keeps getting hotter. Hopefully it'll dry up a little bit, but man, it's disgusting out here. Well, I didn't get to park amongst the Volkswagen, but I still got to park amongst family. How about that? <laughs> Uh-oh, he's in a cripple spot. There he is. We just gotta pretend and it makes it work. Everything's good. <laughs> it was either the handicapped spot or home. But this we place see, is full. If you see a handy crip come around, you just gotta move, that's all. <laughs> I gotta flash my colors. <laughs> Here, make it stop. It's very hot. <laughs> Is it your husband to build them? No, no, no. This new kid right here is good for going around and things like this, taking it to car shows, family picnics. You need to buy two or three tickets for this. this I've is, seen them all. I, I've seen this the, is the uh, only one in this area. Really? Yes. No, so were they actually production pieces? This is your opportunity to have one of a kind. Now, is this a production piece or is this something that somebody actually built? There's a gentleman that builds these okay, himself. Right, yeah. You can order them or you can go ahead and buy a ticket or two and take a chance to take this baby home with you and you'll have a one of a kind. You have it? I've got plenty of one. I've got one of a kind. I've been trying. I've got one that I'm trying to sell right now. One of these? No, not no, like I'll this. Another, something else. You need. That's not fiberglass. That's real metal. That's yeah, real. Yeah, it looks like it's fender off Volkswagen. It it's is. two fenders. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, you bought them together. There you go. Oh, it's, it's got two lights, brake yeah. lights, and it even. I mean, what's ten dollars? What are you gonna lose? Ten dollars? No. Ready, You're ready supporting the rare air Volkswagen club and the group that we support. <laughs> Take a few steps forwards. Get on it. Yeah, you're in the, the shadows of the leaves, which gives you spots. Put me on in the sun. Yeah, okay. put you in the sun, but not for long. You gotta be there real briefly. It's just too incredibly hot in that sun today, and being as white as I am, it's just a miserable, miserable thing. The humidity is way up, but we finally got a breeze, so here in the shade, it sucks, but it's survivable. I'm doing okay, I guess. Should have brought something cold to drink. I was foolish. Man, that humidity is up today. It is miserable out here. I don't even think it's 90 degrees yet, but it's just balls sticky. Disgusting. It just started yeah. pouring. I warned everybody about 15 minutes ago, you know, let's start packing it in, let's start rolling. And now everybody listens, and now we're stuck in this, 
And now it's gonna be a complete madhouse here of everybody trying to get out of the parking lot all at the same time. That's just the way life goes, right? Well, anyway, we're headed off to lunch. And this lunch is not very far from here. So it's gonna be a fun time driving this fast back in the rain. Which, as you guys may know, these little skinny tires, there's probably a patch on the road about that big. Um, they just love to you know, We finally made it out of the parking lot. And everybody decides they want to drive just slow as hell. And look at this, the sun is out. Just like that. Hey, welcome to Florida, guys. And the rain stopped. But we're going to get on the road over here, go back that way and then back. So we're going to go right back into the rain again. So it's certainly not done. I'm getting nice and sprayed right off my air conditioner over here, see? Yep. All right, well, fun times. Well, I had that Mustang in front of me, and I don't know what to say, but I don't think anybody in a Mustang knows how to drive. He put so much gap between the Volkswagens in front of him that it looked like he just had no idea where he was going or what he was doing. This guy, unbelievable. on the other side of them. Fucking try to leave. Yeah, like, that's why I was like, maybe we can beat the scramble, but we really didn't. Barely. Barely. We <laughs> left because we predicted it. We got out just before it really got crazy. 100%. It would have been real bad if yeah. it started coming down even worse. We got out of there two minutes earlier. It would have been ideal. And that's, now, that's it. Now it's going to start <laughs> drizzling here, most likely. And probably going to pour, actually, while we're eating. <laughs> Perfect timing. Yes. Begin. I'm here in Rumbleys, and that's not my belly. All right. Look at all that. It's storming. Chips, big out. I got a large fry and ended up with a whole bag of them. I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs> I had to find my burger I underneath them. He got a small fry. He got a mountain. They don't mess with you around here. I'll tell you what, we sure paid for it. Well, I left my lights on through lunch. Nobody pointed it out. And the reason why is because it started getting mighty dim. Well, anyway, I shut it off, and as you can hear, when I came back out afterwards, it, it started. The battery must have regenerated enough juice to bring itself back, but yeah, those lights are getting mighty dim from it just sitting here in the parking lot. Anyway, we're headed home. Yeah, probably gonna get rained on on the way there. I guess we'll see. 